Hi, and welcome to Tea Life with Tiffany. I am your host, Tiffany Denise. Thank you for joining me and my cadre of amazing friends as we sit and sip tea and talk everything from pop culture to tea culture. Tea life is what your life should be. Calm, cool, and collected, just like a cup of tea. You wouldn't think that that was your first um, Broadway, that was your first Broadway appearance. I appreciate so, congratulations. that. Thank you. Thank you. I know you. that there's going to be great things, you know, to come from you I on that so. stage and beyond. Thank you. So what, what's your process like as an actor? What, what is the process that you go through to um, get into a character, to develop a character? Well, um, it, it, it varies, mm -hmm. honestly. I have, there are specific things, specific things that I do yes. as far as the actual work and um, I guess navigating text yes. or whatnot. Uh, when it comes to the process, it all depends on the role I'm playing, you know, mm -hmm. um, where it's at, the location, the environment. Yeah. You know, you can't neglect the world that we live in. You know, right. you have to take that into consideration. The, the, yeah, and, and into um, the theater and into the rehearsal room as yes. well. You can't neglect the fact that you know your heart, you know your mind is reacting at all times to things that are going around you. Right. So um, it all depends on, on what's going on. There's mm -hmm. nothing there, it's nothing like, okay, I gotta do this and do this in order right. for this to happen, um, except so for when it comes to the text. So it's not, not a very text. mechanical thing for you. Not at all. So for, for me, when I did theater in college, it was more like an emotional mm -hmm. space that I would go to, mm -hmm. to um, create the character's feeling mm -hmm. or their background text. I would say. Right. And one of the things that I had to be aware of uh, that my professor told me, he said, well, you're going to have to be careful not to expend so much of your energy because mm -hmm. you can get exhausted doing that. Right. So it's kind of like you have to find a balance between, I guess, the technical side and yeah, the Yeah, and that's, and that's something mm -hmm. that um, I was attempting to navigate mm -hmm. during this show. Yes. This is my Broadway debut. It is eight shows a week. Yeah, and yeah. you want to give a hundred percent to every single performance. That's right. And yeah, you start to get tired. Mm -hmm. But I was, you know, in my mind, I feel like there are other things. There are things, you know, condition-wise, like working yeah. out or eating healthy, or yeah, eating right, yes. to put you. Because my, my my goal was to, on a two-show day or a five-show weekend, yes. to feel like I gave a hundred percent to every single show. And to still be able to go out and run around afterwards. So that means you, know? you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta eat take care right, of yourself. Exercise. Yeah. Yeah. You don't um, party all night. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. Nah, nah. You know, yeah, here and there, yeah. You know, if your body can handle it. But um, right. I definitely had a lot of fun. I, I've learned right. so much doing mm -hmm. it. And um, when it came to you know Dar the character of Darius um, and connecting with Darius, you know, I feel like. Like we were speaking of Pac being emotions, yes. his music being, emo I feel like we all relate in that regard. Yes. You know, you want to lash out at yes. times, you know. Um, you want to, you want to, you know, say certain things that we hold back, you know. And I feel like Darius for me was, is um, a character or, you know, an emotion, uh, a feeling that sometimes, you know, I just, i like, okay. You know, <laughs> Chill out. Yeah, keep it down, you know, because you can't, you know. You can't people are gonna react to that, right. you know. There are consequences to, to actions, and um, I'm not saying I'm afraid to do anything because right. I'm not. You right. know, if I feel like you know something needs to be said, I'm gonna say it. If something needs to be done, I'm gonna do it. Right. Um, but when it comes to his character yes. and what he represented, you know, mm -hmm. there is a time for time and place for everything. Absolutely. You know, so it's like hold on, everything. hold on to that. You know, but we all have it. We all, we have, all it. have it. We Definitely. have Saul. We have you know Chris. Yeah, you know, we have all of their characters. You know, that that were played. Uh, and they Tanya, all took on a played, different part. Yeah. It was like the the young kid. Mm -hmm. He did a lot of like the emotional. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it was all emotional pop, but the the parts of of Tupac that wanted people to really come together. Yeah. So he took on yeah. that that person. And, and, the, and the part of Pac that wanted individuals to strengthen their minds. Yes. You know. And yes, um, that's true. It's like, no matter what color you were, like, yeah. don't you see me? Don't you see us? Mm -hmm. Like, we're, yeah. you know. Like, open your minds. Exactly. Do your research. Exactly. You know, exactly. know what's really, really going on right. out here. Don't really judge me by 
yeah. what I look like on exactly. the outside. Exactly. You were talking about the frustration of people not getting it, just mm -hmm. not getting it, or maybe just a refusal. That, that it's like a continuous right. refusal right. to accept. Well, that's that what this it is. is. This is the story yeah. of some mm -hmm. people. Yeah. You know, and, and, it, and it's okay that you don't know about it. And the bigger that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It, and the, and <laughs> in addition to that, you mm -hmm. know, what they, what we do as people, yes, when we don't want to associate ourselves with something, right? Um, to experience, to attempt to experience it, we right. want to hear somebody else's story. Right. You know, we want to say, okay, this isn't, it's not about me. Right. This is about them, but I get to see it. See it from the outside, yeah. like a spectator. It's exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. But once once you open it up to include everyone, right. of course you're going to take offense to something that's being said. Right, right, right. Of right. course you're going to, of course, oh, oh that when, that when, when somebody says um, uh, in, the, in the line, um, these killings aren't nothing compared to what you white folks do. Oh, yeah, yeah, Two yeah, Gulf yeah, Wars, yeah. two that's World right. Wars, two atomic Williams, bombs. Right? Yeah, uh -huh. the, yeah, yeah. that song uh -huh. said that at, um, close to the end of Act 2. And that's true. Like, that's true. It's true. These killings, <laughs> I'm going to say that. When, some, when a line like that, when a line like these Gulf, these killings are nothing compared, and he's referencing the killings in the neighborhood, right. in the black community. Right. Uh, when he right. says, you know, these killings aren't nothing compared, nothing compared to the killings that you white folks do. Right. You're right. calling right. people out. You are. And when you do it in a present day on stage, yeah. you people know, don't like what, to be they, out. oh, no, they don't. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah like you're gonna call yeah you're gonna call it heavy handed. Mm -hmm. Why? It's the truth. So it's now, not heavy to me. So now the story it's, becomes it's, like this small thing that's not really significant. So there's another right. reason. Because we've heard this, we've heard the, we've heard you around. black people say this before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's exactly. and that's the and that's the frustrating part. Yeah. You, you know? know? I was on um, talking to on Facebook about it because we've just been a lot of conversation about it's, this. Class. Yes, it has. Okay. Yes, it has. And um. A associate of mine, his name is Manny Faces, and mm -hmm. he's a hip hop reporter, blogger, mm -hmm. does a lot of stuff in term in the hip hop community, and he had, he he had a post about it, about the show, and his feelings about it closing and that kind of thing. And then there was a post from one young lady who went and saw the show. I don't know what her ethnicity is, mm -hmm. um, but she was like, I really. For some reason, she felt embarrassed. She said, I can't believe that they put all of that stuff on the stage. I just felt so embarrassed, yeah. and I just left. Ooh. And I was like, Ooh. and the only uh -oh. thing I could say was, uh -oh. okay, I see. Mm -hmm. it was because bad. I realized that there was nothing if, if, that I could say mm -hmm. <laughs> that would make, that would even help her to change Ain't her about perspective. That. You, you know, the I just the job her, was already done. It was already done. The job was already done. The fact that she had to get up and leave, the job yeah, was already fun. done. And it, I, I don't know who knows when she left. She said that she left uh, before the end of the first act. Which was, like. But that's, that's that's the point. Who knows when she left? The fact that right. I, she's still thinking about that show to this day. Yes, yeah, so she's, much and so. On the inside, uh -huh. you know, she's been affected by one act, not even yeah. the entire act of, of, yeah. a, of a first show, to the point mm -hmm. where she had to leave. And you better believe, even though she didn't see the whole thing, right. she didn't get the whole story, right. she is absolutely still affected to this yeah. day. That's amazing. what the truth does. It's amazing how people, again, art is supposed to impact, educate, and We're doing what we're supposed to do. No, we're just supposed so to do. So I said one time, we're doing community <laughs> service. It, it, exactly. like, it, it, but, Social activism. Right, this, is, this really is what this show is. Also. And that's, yes. it, it sucks, you know, that that Broadway, you know, it, even us, of course, money was um, potentially to be made off the right, show and from right. all these other shows. At the same time, um, as an artist, you right. know, me specifically, and I know a lot of other people in the cast, producers, director, creative team, mm -hmm. everyone, we know that yeah. the youth need to see this. It's a spot for us to grow if you find it. I'll be right behind you. Show me and I'll go. How can I be peaceful? I'm coming from the bottom. Watch my daddy scream peace while another man shot him. I need a house that's full of love when I need to escape. A deadly place is slinging drugs in Doug's every mansion. Corner, every city, there's a place where lots of little easy, little Hennessy. They back and cool. Every hour, cause it's no. Well, everyone needs to see it. So, what you know, you white, black, or old, gonna, young. Is, I, mean, I have I no know. idea. Oh, so there, oh, there, talk, there are talks about a tour. There are talks about yeah. a tour. I don't know when anything. Okay. Because like, it, takes, it takes some putting together. To yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to be like, okay, close. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. So, you got to set yeah. up the theaters and everything and um, engagements. But, and yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not, not behind any of that. So, I don't, right. I don't know. But you'll be ready. When they yeah, call, no doubt. You know, we were talking about when we were in the theater. I was with a friend of mine, um, Vivian, mm -hmm. and um, we were like, "Wow!" And we said it at the same time. It was toward the end. It was like, "Wow, this 
play needs to go to Chicago. <laughs> right. You know, right. Needs to go to Chicago, needs to go to Atlanta, yes. Atlanta Virginia. Yes. Where I'm yes. from. It needs yes. all these places, like, because mm-hmm. the, <laughs> they say it's the same story. Mm-hmm. That's because that's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. And it's the same, and it's sad too. And, and it's it's sad to that know. We can change around. It, it, it's sad to know that it's the same story from from 1992, 90 to 96 when Pop was talking about right. it, all the way to 2014. 2014. Yeah. Speak on that. Speak on that. Speak on the fact that it's sad that it's the same story. Right. Because it's still relevant and still important today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not just, because you have a you have a part in right, it and right, you're right. offended by right. that. Right, you're offended by that. Mm-hmm. And you don't want to accept the You fact don't want to accept actually it. Actually what's happening. Exactly. And I'm a part of it. And you're calling me out exactly on it. Exactly what's happening. You know, mm-hmm. like the gentleman the other day who was caught in a chokehold, uh, you know, the police yeah. officer yeah. lost his life. Yeah. I mean it's just like this continuous uh, and how can you neglect that on the, the biggest stage in the world right theatrical stage right. in the you world can. how can you neglect that side of art right you know and life and what's and, really going on and that adds to that frustration <laughs> yeah i could imagine well yeah. keep up keep up the work we're myself and others like me we are all in support of it and whatever Thank we can do to get the word out or be a part of it in any way. You, you've That's what already it's about. done and doing more than enough, and I Thank greatly you. appreciate Thank that you for so real. Much. Online, you. are you big into social media? Uh, no, nah, I'm really? not real big on social media. I did just start um, an Instagram not too okay. long ago. Okay. Uh, underscore, 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 Joshua Boone. <laughs> B O O N E Joshua J O S H U A. So let me say it in order. I guess that's what people do. Yes. Underscore <laughs> Joshua Boone. So that's underscore J O S H U A B O O N E. I don't okay. have many posts. I don't. That's you know, okay. I post from time to time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm but sure that's, it's gonna grow. But that's the, you know that's where I'm at right now as far okay. as you know. I can be reached or you know get okay. updates on what's going on from there and everything. Absolutely. You know I'm not a hard person to find. Either. All right. I have emails and phone okay. numbers. Okay. Well, you might not want to put that all. No, out I'm not. There. I'm not. I'm just saying no. I'm just saying ultimately though, there's there's a way to be found. Okay. You know, got it. Got it. Know, got so. it. Got it. Awesome. What's next for you, Joshua? Uh, we'll see. You know, mm-hmm. um, I'm doing a workshop of this of this new piece either uh, probably next week sometime. Okay. Uh, we'll see what that leads to and. Okay. Um, and just taking my time, really. Okay. You know, I do feel that there are many things on the on the horizon. Yes, you know, God sure. willing, definitely. <laughs> and um, and I'm I'm excited. I'm you excited know, for you. I, I'm not sad that the show closed. Okay. Frustrated and upset, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, not sad at all though. I made my debut. Yes. You know, I had a so great time. I learned a lot. You know, mm-hmm. much more than I could have ever anticipated. What is the number one thing? If you could narrow it down to one thing that you, that you learned being on Broadway about. I, the process, the, the, the business, or whatever, what would be that that you didn't know before? Uh, that's a great question. Mm-hmm. The one thing, I wanted, I guess I just want to put it in one word. I'm going okay. to figure it out, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would have to say, uh, I'm sorry, I stopped to you up. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, the thing is, the thing is, is like, because it's hard to say one thing. It's like saying one thing is like, what's the most beneficial thing? You okay, know, which okay, it, okay. there isn't, you know, because I learned so well, much from a, from a business in end. Yes. You know, I learned so much from artistic end yes. about, you know, the, the work and everything. So it's kind of hard to narrow it down in that sense. Okay, got it. Um, well, give us a small paragraph. Small paragraph. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, one always to always be prepared. Got it. That's on the business end yes. and artistic end. Yep. You know, know what the situation is around you. Yeah. Know the know the work that you're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, and commit fully. Commit fully. Like don't don't have commit. Take a positive av- attitude in towards everything and be That's open. Right. Yeah. Open to suggestions. Open to open to Feedback, receive yeah. other people. Everything. You know. Yeah. There there are there are. Um, there there you know when it comes to professionalism you know mm-hmm. there things need to happen a certain way. But just in just, that's in life period. Just be open mm-hmm. uh, and receptive, yes. positive, and commit fully. Yeah, that's right. One hundred and ten, one hundred and ten percent. We had that that's motto, right. Kenny Lee. He was, you know, one ten. Yeah, one ten. We in. Yeah, you know? I like that. One and um, that that's the most yeah. important thing. Yeah, I like to that. To anything we do. Commit. 
commitment is very important very to anything important, you no do matter what. fully and be in it fully and be receptive be open to feedback mm-hmm. and just be positive easy. attitude positive attitude stay positive because the forward. negativity will come for, it, it's going to come no matter what you know that's right but, but at the core you know on the inside keep it positive because we have a choice of how we decide to show up exactly. to any given situation yeah, 100%. we have a choice exactly absolutely yeah yeah Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back right after this. for joining us for Thank another y'all. episode of Tea Life with Tiffany. Yeah, yeah. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Tea Life with Tiffany. We had a wonderful chat with Mr. Joshua Boone. As you can see, we finished our tea. I didn't even tell you what tea we had. We had uh, Tea by Tiffany Hibiscus Breeze. It's hibiscus, spearmint, and lemongrass. Absolutely delicious and it went very well with our lemon pound cake so anyway we hope that you enjoyed this wonderful afternoon with us and we will be back for another episode of tea life with tiffany remember tea life is how your life should be calm cool and collected just like a cup of tea